so um, in the last video we had uh, just uh, basically did the basic setup of our project uh, we um, created a yeah, uh, view project uh, we had a setup typescript inside that and uh, we installed uh, these two libraries called view property decorator and view x uh, module decorators because uh, this will be needed in the project that we're going to build so now uh, let's focus on the task at hand and what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, you know uh, the uh, uh real world starter sample kit and all of these uh, uh pages uh, that we have uh we'll just create views for these and um, i'm gonna add these uh, css that i need to import and all of that stuff we'll start uh, doing this so uh you know we need this uh, ionic framework stuff and the google apis font that we need to install here so um let's uh, do this uh, in my public uh, index.html uh, let's uh, import uh, you know the ionic ionic framework and uh, this uh, google font uh, stuff here um so uh just a second yep this is my uh this is the uh, ionic uh, stuff down here now uh, next thought you want is uh, to be using the uh, css for this uh, project so uh, if you go to demo.realworld.io slash main.css you can see uh, this is the css file for the uh, project and i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna go to um, assets inside src assets and i will uh, add a new file called uh, main.css and i'm gonna paste all this uh, css stuff uh, out here what we'll do in uh, the main.ts file is uh, i'm gonna add uh, import um, assets slash uh, main.css okay so when you write an import line inside uh, your uh, js file when you import a css like this webpack is on automatically going to include uh, this uh, css file into our project uh, i think uh, yeah that should uh, get set with our uh, css included i'll uh, start uh, creating these views here i'm gonna delete uh, about and home uh, from uh, this uh, views components i'm going to delete the hello world component from here um, what i'm going to do is uh, create uh, two components called um, um, you know uh, let's say let's call it app uh, footer dot view and um, it's called um, app navbar dot view so uh, this is like the global level uh, footer in the navbar uh, I'm gonna take this uh, template from uh, here. There's this footer template. I'll just uh, put that at the bottom of uh, the uh, like. I'll create a template inside my footer and uh, paste the footer code uh, down here. Uh, similarly, I'm gonna go for the header. Uh, pick the nav header from here, and uh, we're gonna go and put this inside the nav bar template uh, i'm gonna put this template into enough part um, what i'll do is uh, in my uh, app dot view i'm uh, going to remove this uh, existing style that exists for this project uh, right um, and i'm gonna add a script where we um, would be importing uh, So uh, what we'll do is we'll import a view uh, property uh, decorator uh, and we'll be importing uh, view and uh, component uh, from here. So we'd write our code like this at a component uh, to create this component as a decorator and export uh, default uh, class app extends view. So that's uh, the way we uh, create a component inside uh, TypeScript in Vue.js. We use the component decorator and uh, then we create like this export default class app extends view. Now what I need to do is I need to import these components called, uh, you know, uh, app footer dot view and app navbar dot view. So I'm going to do import uh, app uh, footer from uh, components slash app footer dot view and like you might see uh, some uh, 
problems like this like it says at the rate uh, at components dot app footer dot view is not a component or something like that uh, so we'll deal with this uh, error uh, soon uh, if I try to write like this dot slash uh, components um, dot slash src slash uh, components uh, slash uh, app uh, footer dot view in that case you know this error goes away because it's it's not able to understand this uh, at the rate parameter but at, in Vue.js we use that a lot so what you can do is inside my uh, tsconfig.json we can add like this paths thing uh, so at the rate slash star means src slash star so this usually helps us uh, figure that problem out so um, I think we should have a base you all set yeah I think if all that that is uh, set then uh, we can write this and uh, we're gonna import uh, the app navbar from app navbar dot view uh, inside my component uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, add these extra components so I'm importing these two components and I'm gonna use these component inside my app components so I will create a components object and pass app footer and uh, app navbar out here so uh, I'm gonna change uh, the template a bit here I'm gonna remove this uh, div nav stuff here I'm gonna add the um, app navbar at the top of the screen uh, the router view after that and uh, I'm gonna add the app um, footer after that so that's how my uh, main app dot view file is gonna look like this the app navbar then there's the foot router view and then there's the app footer uh, we need to uh, change a few things inside uh, my router so in my router I'm gonna import uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, so I'll take a look at uh, these uh, templates. So we have got this home page. So let's uh, take a look at the home page and uh, let's paste this home page into a home dot view. New uh, file home dot view. Uh, create a template. Paste the home page into this. And uh, router, uh, I'm going to import home from view slash home dot view, which is uh, pretty much uh, fine. Uh, remove this uh, other path about path let's just remove this for now okay so this stage I think my app should work because I have got the home component uh, working um, and uh, my main app I'm um, opening the app and uh, we've got this home component done we have got the uh, nav bar and the footer done so uh, let's just uh, check this out if I serve this app right now Uh, so we've got an unexpected closing tab template inside um, app dot view. Oh, I, I did not close the div. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So that's what my app looks like. Uh, that's my navbar up there, and uh, we've got the uh, CSS and all that stuff working. So uh, it, it looks like how the demo app looks like. Okay, uh, if in the demo app I uh, sign out, so uh, this is what the demo app looks like, uh, and this is what uh, this app looks like. So. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We got the templates working correctly. Um, what we need to do uh, from here is uh, we need to, uh, you know, we need to uh, 
start um, with uh, the templates uh, so I'm gonna add all of the rest of the templates uh, so I'll take the login and register page and uh, it'll create uh, like some uh, views for that stuff I'll just close this so uh, I'll create a, a file called um, login dot view and then we'll create a uh, register dot view okay so what are the pages that we have we have got a login page we have got a register page right sign in page register page um what else do we have we need uh, a settings page uh, so let's add a settings page and we need uh, the editor page to which we use to edit articles so So you're gonna open the editor uh, page and uh, then we need uh, the article viewing page. Uh, so we'll add a new file called uh, article.view and uh, then we need the profile page. So we got profile.view. Okay, um, let's uh, paste all the template stuff here. Um, login register uh, component. Uh, so let's uh, take this into um, login and register stuff. So login template, paste that profile. Uh, no, um, register um, create template, paste that stuff. Okay, just go over this quickly. Um, profile page. It's gone into profile. Uh, what else? We have a settings page. Um, then uh, we have got this uh, editor. Create an edit article page. So this will go into the editor. And uh, this is the article reading page where we can read a single article. So this goes into article slash view. Okay, uh, I'll add some of these things into my router. So uh, if somebody goes to uh, the path uh, slash login, uh, there's a root called uh, login and uh, the component that opens up is uh, so I'm gonna do a dynamic import and I'm gonna import uh, uh, um, login dot view ah, yep so uh, let's do that for the other stuff as well like this for register so then uh, for settings uh, what else do we have um, so we need like settings page and uh, yeah I think uh, that's good enough to just uh, see if all that stuff is working. Now uh, you see that there's a bit of difference here in the component syntax is like in the home component it just says component home and it's already imported. In the case of uh, the other uh, pages what I've done is I've made a component which imports a view file. There was a difference here we can see when we uh, run this it's called code splitting. Code splitting helps us split your bundle of your Vue.js bundle into smaller bundles or smaller JS files. So uh, when you open the page for the first time the entire Vue.js bundle does not get loaded. Um, let's just check this out. I'll, I'll just open this okay and uh, what we do is let's open the uh, you know uh, the network tab and let's see JS files getting downloaded okay so I refresh so you see app.js gets downloaded and app.js is like 2.37 uh, MB in size um, now if I uh, if I go to slash uh, settings 
then you see like 2.js which is only 17.72 kb gets downloaded if i go to uh login then uh, there's 0.js which is 16.37 kb and if i go register then uh this 1.js gets downloaded if i go to uh login again you see there's no new file getting downloaded because the login file is already inside 0.js so each of these are called dynamic roots and each dynamic roots is split into separate js files so that when you open the app for the first time only the main component is loaded and the other components are not loaded so you can you know save some space in the initial load of the app all of the other things will just you know keep loading later on uh, of course vue.js app does not wait 2.37 mb this is the development module it contains like all of the watchers and the sockets and all that stuff so when you make a production build it will be much smaller than that so don't worry about that uh, but yeah uh, like the separate JS files get created so your first bundle is not very heavy okay um, yeah uh, let's uh, get started uh, with uh, the API then we need to actually start uh, getting some data from uh, the server right so uh, what we'll do is we'll start working on the API spec the API spec is given here uh, if you go to go things to slash uh, real world and uh, there's uh, the API folder inside which is readme which uh, tells you about all of these uh, different kind of objects there's a user objects profile object article and comment tags all of these objects is the endpoints there's a post endpoint on API slash user slash login where you do a post request and uh, you log in there is a registration endpoint uh, there is a get current user and get articles and all of these endpoints so uh, what we'll do is we'll be using uh, Axios uh, Axios is uh, a um, oh, so I don't need, need the HBO series, but I want this this one. So uh, Axios uh, is a um, very famous uh, NPM module, as you can see, like uh, three million downloads a week, and it uh, helps us um, do asynchronous uh, requests, AJAX requests from the browser and also from Node.js. So um, we uh, we just uh, gonna install NPM, install Axios, and then we'll do Axios.get and all of that stuff uh that's like my api and uh, and we'll use vuex uh, to store this data so uh we have got like a store uh, .ts file like this so uh we would need to like create a more complex store our store would not involve only a single file so uh i'm gonna create a folder called uh, store and i'll just move the store.ts into store and uh Uh, I'm gonna rename this to uh, index.ts. So everywhere I've imported store, for example, in my main.ts, I've imported dot slash store. This import is gonna continue to work fine because if store is a folder, then uh, importing dot slash store means I wanna import index.ts from inside that. So inside store, I'm gonna create some modules, uh, which uh, I will have a user module to store user data and I have an articles module to store articles data and uh, so on. Okay, uh, so we'll do this uh, a part of uh, fetching data from the API and putting it into dynamic modules uh, in the next video. Okay, so we have like the basic app set up, uh, the uh, templates are working, the styles are working, we have got the basic pages set up uh, as of uh, right now. Okay.